Hey guys, how is it going? I hope you're having a great day. In this video, I will show you two tools or techniques that will immensely help you with speeding up your productivity while painting in Photoshop. After watching this video, you'll be able to capture the color information from a photograph or an artwork that you like and use it in your own paintings. You'll also be able to replicate objects using brush strokes and to quickly add brush strokes, detail or visual noise in your paintings. And lastly, you'll be able to use the techniques to create crowds or large-scale armies. Yes, I'll be talking about the pattern stamp tool and the mixer brush too. I know this tutorial was long overdue, so without wasting any more time, let's do this. So I have a photograph here that I really like. The colors are so beautiful. We have some really good shades of low saturated blues and a good variety of browns. We also have some muted shades of green and some neutral tones. So overall, imagine this is the perfect color palette for me. I don't want to copy the image and I don't want to color pick specific colors to use them into my painting. But I do want to get the essence of this color palette to show in the artwork that I'm about to create. So here's what I'll do. I'll select the image using any of the selection tools. Like I've used a rectangular marquee tool here. I'm gonna make a selection. Make sure that you don't include the white area surrounding the image. Alright, once it's selected, go up here. Click the edit tab, open up the drop down menu and select define pattern. You can rename this pattern if you like and after that you hit OK. Photoshop has basically saved this image as a pattern within your Photoshop pattern library. Here's how you're gonna access that. Go to the pattern stamp tool right here. If you see clone stamp tool instead, click and hold and then select the pattern stamp tool. Once you've selected it, go up here, click on this little icon that shows an image, find the image that you just defined as a pattern and select it. Once it's selected, try to paint on the canvas and you'll see that it's painting the same image onto the canvas. The pattern stamp tool can be used with any brush. So if you want to use this particular brush, feel free to download the brush pack that I've compiled. I'll put a link in the description for you to check it out. But wait, it's painting the exact same image on the canvas and you don't want that of course. I don't want to copy that image as it is. It's even repeating the image on the right side. To avoid that, here's what you're gonna do. While selecting the pattern stamp tool, go up here and check the box which says Impressionist. And now when you'll paint on your canvas, you'll see that Photoshop has created an amalgamation of all the colors from the photo that you liked. So you can basically put all the color information onto your canvas like this. You can change the brush size to large or small to get different results. Once you've filled up all your canvas with that juicy color palette, you can select a regular brush, start color picking from your canvas and build forms and shapes on top of this. Let me show you how. So I'm gonna make a sky, I'll go for the lighter shades of blue, color pick from the canvas and use different values to paint the sky. For the distant mountains, I'll go for a relatively darker value of blue. So I'm gonna color pick it from here and paint the mountains. For the clouds, I want an even lighter shade. So here we go. For the rocks, we have these browns in the foreground. So let's use them. Using the same techniques, you can pick color from the canvas and build your forms. How cool is that? Alright, let's move on to the next one. Let's say you have this image of a tree here. You have all the dark areas and the light areas on those green leaves and a pretty good level of detail. Now you want to paint a tree within one of your paintings but you don't want to paint every leaf individually. So you're gonna use magic. The magic of mixer brush tool. So you want to extract the visual information from this picture of a tree and make your own goddamn tree. 
and that's exactly what we're gonna do go up here where it says the mixer brush tool click it now while hovering your brush over the image of that tree press and hold alt click on part of that tree and over here you'll see that it has picked up the visual information from that particular area now if you try to paint on your canvas while still selecting the mixer brush tool see what happens isn't that great you can replicate that part of the tree as many times as you like but wait it works better with the other brushes. Let's try them out. I'm gonna select this brush for now and I'm gonna paint some greens here. To give it an impression of foliage, I can change the size of the brush to cover larger areas. Here, I just selected some darker areas from that tree image and painting the shadows. See, I told you, it will make your life easier. All right, let's try another brush. Let's say I wanna make some grass. See how effortless this is? So, now I'm gonna select one of my leaf brushes and try to create a tree using the same technique. Let's see how that goes. And here you go. I mean it's not perfect but it's still a great looking detailed tree. Alright so now let's get back to the landscape that we created using pattern stamp tool. Now I'm gonna use the mixer brush tool to pick some visual information from the landscape photo of our choice and paint them onto the landscape painting that we created. Now please keep in mind that I'm not gonna copy exact details from that image onto my own landscape. What I'm about to do is to add some visual noise to my piece to give it a slight impression of being a bit detailed and full of brushwork. That is a style that I personally like and I create a lot of these. It's not necessary that it will suit everybody's art style, okay? Just wanted to put it out there. Alright, I'll shut up for now, back to the video. So here's the final result. Oh by the way, I also made this sketch using the mixer brush tool. And this one. And this one too. Okay this is the last one. There are so many things you can do with these tools. It all depends on how you use it. For example, let's say you want to make a crowd of people, hundreds of them. Instead of drawing each and every one of them, you can draw just a few. Or you can take an image of a few people and then replicate them using the mixer brush tool. Just like I quickly created this army into a scene. By the way, let me know if you want me to make a full tutorial on creating large crowds and armies. Okay, so let's end this video here. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and learned a thing or two. It would be so great if you like this video, comment on it and share this little bit of knowledge with someone who might be interested. And if you're interested in watching more videos related to art and design and you're always looking to learn something new, please consider subscribing to my channel. Alright folks, have a good time, take care, bye bye.